hey hello and welcome once again this reflects and this time around i'll be taking you a tutorial on how to create a mirror reflection on your studio picture like the one i have over here to make it look as if the mirror there's a mirror down there that is showing the reflection of the picture so if it's your first time visiting my channel don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon uh, if you are yet to subscribe also do subscribe and also please guys you guys should like my videos to help youtube recommend it to other people so that they can benefit from it one way or the other so in this video i'll be showing you how to do that i'll be working with just three pictures this this and this so there are two steps that you can use to do that so you can actually do everything together including the background you can actually create reflection together with the background uh, or you can as well do each at a time can I say do at least let us say you can do the piano at, on its own you can do the model differently you can do the chair also differently so you can just separate everything or you can do everything in just a single click so I'll be showing you how to do that so let's jump into action with no further ado so firstly how are we going to do that let me delete the one I just created right now let me delete it so if you want to learn how I created this you want to learn how I create this overlay there's a video on how I do that so you can actually learn from there so firstly what you need to do is just to create uh, a copy of everything you just did let me delete this let me show you how I did that so this is a group everything I worked on they are separated in each and every layer right here as you can see so it has its own layer each so that's how it is so if you want to create just a picture you want to create a jpeg out of this group now very easy i don't want to tamper with the group on its own so you just have to do your control alternate and shift then hold, hold your, your e that's your e key once you click on it it's going to create a jpeg format a picture format of everything all the layers we've worked on so far so that's what it's going to do for you so this time around what you need to do now is just to duplicate what you just create right now by clicking on ctrl j so once you're done with that, just right click on it, convert to smart object. Uh, if, you are, if you are to, what you need to do now, I want to rotate the picture. But you have to rotate the picture yet right now. So let's do that and see what, what is going to, uh, how it's going to affect the picture. So if I'm to go to my image, go to my image rotation, uh, click on vertical. As you can see, it rotates upside down. This works for me exactly. If I want to turn off this one, it affects the below layer also. So what we need to do, we need to affect just only this layer, not everything, not the entire document. So I've clicked by my Ctrl Z now. What I need to do right now is just to right click on here. Since I've converted to smart objects, then I'll just edit content. So all you need to do now is just to go to your image, under image, look for rotation. Then flip vertical, not horizontal, flip vertical. So as you can see it has rotates automatically so next thing you just need to do is just to click on ctrl s to save so you can just close the layer right now you know when we work on the layer it took us to a new layer once you create it uh, create a smart object right click on it then we'll click on edit content so it's going to take us to a new layer so once you work on that new layer you are going to save it then close the layer so it's going to bring you back here so if i'm to turn this one off now you see it only affects the particular image I took to a new layer so I'm going to turn it on back then I'll reduce the opacity I will, re I will increase the tube so I can see what I'm doing then I'll drag it down to the place I want it to be I'll drag it down so this is how I want it to be but as you can see it's it's over the leg and it's showing it's very obvious that we did something like this here so let me just adjust a little bit so it's very obvious the background is showing on top of the leg so what are we going to do about that i'm going to clean all this area we we'll leave only the chairs and everything we want to be there so we'll just create a layer marks on our layer right now pick our brush make sure the color is on black 100 percent opacity so i'm going to clean up the area i don't want to be there as you can see so we've done our job perfectly so nobody nobody is going to know that we brought we did it ourselves they will think it's a mirror reflection 
So the thing is too obvious, it's still showing much, so you just have to reduce the opacity. Let me drop the opacity at 40%. 40%. So you can see right now, it, has, it seems like a mirror reflection. So that's that for the particular picture. So let me go to the other picture. So this time around, I'm going to be doing just the... Oh, I won't be working on this picture because there's nothing much for me to do here. So I'll just go to the next picture and work on that. If you want to learn how to do this background manipulation, there's a whole video on that for you to learn how I did the extension. Uh, how I clean the remove the blemishes from the background and how I did uh, the overlay. So it's very easy for you to do. Just watch the video and please drop a thumbs up to make my video move forward. You know, if you don't drop a like, there's no way someone else will see the video because the video won't rank. So if you want to learn how I did this also, if you want to learn how I did this uh, manipulation also, and also how I brought in the PNG files. Here's the before of the picture and here's the result. So there's also a full video on how I do that also. This also, this also. Here's the, here's the before, here's what the picture looks like before. It's taken on a, an ash background and here's the final result of the picture. So if you want to learn how I do this manipulation, there's a whole video for you to learn that from. So let's jump into the next one, which is the last picture I have over here. So we want to be doing the money uh the mirror reflection in this particular picture also so for we to do that we are also going to take the same step we took the other time as you can see once i turn off everything this time around we are not doing it with the background so to make it very easy unlike the first one so we are doing just the model alone and i've already cropped out the model from the background so for what i need to do now right now and just for me to duplicate the layer this layer over here i'll click on it i'll duplicate it by clicking on ctrl g right so if we are still to rotate the image here, just like the first one, image rotation vertical, it's going to affect the entire document from the from scratch, from A to Z. It's going to affect everything, every single thing. So we are not going to do that. We are still going to do the same step we did the other time. So we we'll right click on the layer, we we'll turn it to a smart object. So we are also going to right click on it again, right click. Take it to edit content. So here's the image, and so now we can now rotate it here. Once since we click on edit content, it's going to take us to an entire new layer on its own, where the, the, the picture only is located. So we just go to our image, under our image, look for rotation, and then flip vertical. So we've done that. So all we just need to do now is to click on our control S, and it's going to reflect in the entire document. Let's go back there as you can see. You see it's only affecting the picture we took there. It's not affecting the entire document. So we're just going to drag it to where we want it to be. So I'll use my directional key to bring it down to where I want it to be. So let's say I want it to be somewhere around here. Okay, somewhere around there, which is okay by me. If I'm to zoom in, you can see what I'm doing right now. As you can see. So here is where I want it to be. I can just adjust it a little bit. So the next thing I just need to do right now is just, just to reduce the opacity also. As you can see. So reducing the opacity will make it blending perfectly. So so far so good. We've done something nice with this. Here is the first one we did. It's looking all cool. And here is the last one we did. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification icon. If I have any question, you can contact me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, there, there is an entire playlist dedicated to my background manipulation. If you want to learn, I imported this frame in. How I brought in this background overlay to make your studio picture pops. So there's an entire video for you guys to learn from. Very easy and straightforward. I did this manipulation also. There is also a video on that, so you can just do it. The playlist is in the description below. You can actually click there and explore and learn background manipulation. So thanks for watching guys. See you guys on my next tutorial. And also don't forget to drop a like and recommend for your friend.